There are two identities that you need to know. The first one that tan theta equals sine theta divided by cos theta and that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. We're going to use these identities to solve the following equations. The first one, that 2 cos theta equals sine theta. So first I'm going to divide both sides by cos theta in order to leave 2 equals sine theta divided by cos theta. And we know from above that sine theta divided by cos theta is equal to tan theta. So now on our calculators, because we know tan theta equals 2, we need to press shift tan, and that will give us the value theta equals 63.4 degrees. Now the tan graph looks like this. It first of all goes off to infinity at 90 degrees. Then we have oh, going back to 0 at 180 degrees, off to infinity again to 70 degrees, back from infinity to, to 360 degrees when the value is zero again. So this is the graph of y equals tan theta. So every 180 degree period we have the same value. And so hence we need to now add 180 degrees to get the second value, which would be 243.4 degrees. For my second equation, because it involves cos squared, I need to use the identity sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. We need to first of all rearrange that equation so that we have replaced, uh, so we can replace cos squared theta. And so I'm now going to subtract sine squared theta from both sides to leave me with 1 minus sine squared theta is worth cos squared theta. And so hence I shall replace the cos squared theta with 1 minus sine squared theta plus sine theta equals 1. I now need to make a, a quadratic style equation by moving everything on my left hand side over to the right hand side. So we have 1 take away 1 is 0. I'm going to add sine squared theta to both sides, leaving me with sine squared theta. I need to subtract sine theta from both sides, leaving us with sine squared theta minus sine theta equals 0. We can now take out the common factor, which is sine theta. And that will leave us with sine theta, because sine theta times sine theta is sine squared theta, and sine theta into sine theta is once. So that means either sine theta equals zero, or sine theta minus one equals zero, giving us then that sine theta equals zero, or adding one to both sides, one. And you can use your calculator now to get the values for theta, or use the graph. This is the graph of y equals sine theta, going through 180, up to one, down to minus one. So the graph is equal to zero, at 0 degrees, at 180 degrees, at 360 degrees, and it's equal to 1 at 90 degrees. So putting that all in order then, is theta equals 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 360 degrees.